Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And now that we've got signed in to Project Lead the Way, my friends, it is time to get cracking. The first step, of course, is to click our courses options. And if you're working with me, we are working in flight and space. If you need a Spanish version, it's right here. If you'd like it in English, you can launch it right there. Our interface works like this. There are lessons that you can click and they expand. On the left, you can see all the different pieces that are part of it. On the right are the things that we actually have to do. The first part is to have a notebook divider. In my course, we are going to have a digital divider, so what I'd like you to do right now is hit the plus so you can get to your Google app board. Choose Google Drive, and then I want you to click New, and I want you to create a new folder. Of course, we're going to call it Flight and Space, and then hit Create. Let's double click to enter that Flight and Space folder. And then I want you to click New, and I want you to make a Google Doc. And then simply name it FS Notebook with your initials. And then on the very top line, I would like you to type Flight and Space. Switch to the style, heading one so that it looks cool. Center it, and then also pick a nifty font. Pick anything you think looks cool. And why not also pick a nifty color? And then on the next line, choose right a line and put your name. After you press enter on that one, switch it back to left align and you are ready to use your notebook when we come back to it. At this point, you can simply close it. If we return to activity one, You'll notice that under the procedure, we're following my instructions. Please also remember that this is going to be a continuous process. We're going to add things to our notebook throughout the entire time we are together. As we work, we will create a best work section where we've got things organized so that we can show off our original ideas, sketches, projects, accomplishments, and best work. You're expected to keep working on this, removing, adding, and refining information as you progress through our units. Just a note, I can evaluate this at any time, so make sure you keep it organized, neat, and updated. So let's wrap up this process by finishing the conclusion. The first part is, what is the purpose of an engineering notebook? Well, when we first started this assignment, they told us right here, the engineering notebook is a record of the processes we use to create solutions and a description of the solutions. It is also considered a legal document. So this is something that we keep track of so that when we're trying to recreate our projects, we've got the ability to do so efficiently. So a way to solve this, or the way I want you to, is to select it and then add a note. In this area, I want you to type what it's for. When you've got your note typed, hit save, and you'll notice it shows up over in the notes section. And then on the second one, select it, and I want you to answer what is the portfolio. Once again, when you select it, choose add a note and fill in your answer for why you need a portfolio here. When you've got your best solution solved from what you've read up here above, then you can click the save button. Alrighty friends, so that digital notebook should be put together now and we should be ready to move on to the first lesson. Friends, if you found this useful, please hit that like button. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.